You wake up one morning only to realize that your family has disappeared. There's not a soul in sight. The usual sound of traffic outside is gone. Cars are left empty and abandoned on the street. Birds and other wildlife are still roaming around, unaware of the lack of humans. Could you be the last person on the planet? How to survive as the last person on Earth. Deadly virus? Alien invaders? Zombie apocalypse? Whatever the reason, the odds of humanity being wiped out and you surviving is incredibly low. Nearly 7.8 billion people would have to disappear, except for you. But if you did end up being the last person on Earth, what would you need to do to live as long as possible? Where would be the best place to live now that you could choose any house? And why might settling in a city be a bad idea? Step 1. Find some shelter. You could stay back in your home, but if you're the last person on Earth, you could live in any house you wanted. But don't settle down too fast. You'll want to live somewhere that'll protect you from the new threats in the world. Early on, it would be okay to live in a city. There'll be a lot of stores with food, water, and supplies nearby. But after a while, without proper maintenance, the city will start to fall apart. Buildings will start to rust and deteriorate, and the roads will start to crack, fill up with water, or become overrun with vegetation. Most roads will be too dangerous to drive on in as little as 20 years. Ideally, the safest place to find shelter is on a hill. It'll give you a good view of what's around you, and you'll be protected from flooding. But moving away from the city comes with a number of threats too. You'll be moving into the company of some new neighbors, wild animals. Look for a house with a decent fence. It'll help keep these crazy critters out. You also might want to find a gun, a spear, or a bow. Figure out a way to defend yourself against predators. Both you and the animals are going to be on the hunt for food. Step 2. Get food and water. Grocery stores will be your best option to find food, and lots of it. But without electricity to keep the fridges running, fresh and frozen foods will spoil in about four hours. You might want to savor the taste of fresh meat or veggies, because it might be the last time you can enjoy them. Stock up on canned or preserved foods. They'll be safe to eat for up to five years. Gather lots of bottled water too. Without electricity and people to maintain pumping stations and treatment plants, you won't have any access to tap water. As you settle into your new home, the harsh reality of being alone starts to set in too. Surviving as the last person on Earth isn't just physically taxing, it'll be mentally and emotionally draining. Step 3. Give yourself some time to grieve. It's important to come to terms with your new reality and how to cope with it. You'll need some time to grieve the loss of your loved ones and the world you knew. Try your best to acknowledge your feelings and work through them. It'll be hard without social support, but there's still a lot of things you can do to get through it. Picking up a new hobby, learning something new, or even having a daily routine can help you cope with grief. And if you're feeling lonely or depressed, finding a pet can help you feel better. Even though all the people in the world are gone, you can still find companionship with a furry friend. Step 4. Live a sustainable life. Eventually, your supplies of food and water will run out, and gasoline will go stale in about two years. You're going to have to learn to live sustainably. Since you can't Google anything anymore, go to the library and get some books to help you survive. Learn how to farm, hunt, forage, and preserve your food. Carrots, green beans, and lettuce are some of the easiest vegetables to grow. But growing food will cut into your limited amount of bottled water. It'll be important to learn how to find sources of fresh water and how to purify it. While surviving in this situation is difficult, trying to stay sane would be even harder. As the years go by, even with a pet, you'll be without human company for a long time. Humans evolved as social beings, 
Civilization is built on thousands of years of teamwork, communication, and empathy. So, the next time you're a bit annoyed by the people around you, be thankful that they're here. Social isolation can be more damaging to your health than you might think. Don't worry, we'll give you company and show you how to deal with social isolation on how to survive.